So we built this quickly and attached it to our little wheelbarrow tractor and uh, this was all the wood that was meant to be burned so it is actually waste wood that's gonna get anyways after thrown back into the saw and get cut into small pieces for fire but uh, this is gonna function pretty well maybe I need to tighten that but actually it's, I think it's all really tight that's the barrel moving not the wood itself so yeah let's go get hay and uh, hopefully this is enough Two of these is enough for the girls and one for the boys. So yeah, let's go fill it up. Let's go open up a roll. Leave it there. We're gonna have to do that because the tractor's not ready yet. So this is gonna be our workhorse for now. Hopefully we only have to do one hay roll and the yes. next can move in. And also this is probably you like thinking why we're doing this and not doing just a normal wheelbarrow. This is gonna be a lot more and a lot faster. It is annoying after a while to be bringing wheelbarrows after wheelbarrows. For each goat you need at least like one wheelbarrow. Here we can stack it up a lot. And this thing does not matter pulling it because it's not heavy. So. Yeah, we don't have to pull it ourselves. And as you can see, it's like four times the size up. So let's go. So what we forgot that we need to close up the triangle we gave them. So that needs to be closed up and because uh, we can't get to the hay rolls Effic efficiently, <laughs> efficiently we can't get to the hay rolls so we need to close that up and um, yeah give them hay yeah we're gonna have we have those handles that we're gonna put them from one side to another so this one could be also the tractor entrance yeah with because uh, i want to cultivate the field uh, because the field does have a pretty big like moss layer and this grass that you don't want on your field So we need to cultivate it up and just spread some seeds out of uh, natural things that we want to grow for the goats But yeah, let's lock them away. Go go to your lease Go 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 And by the way, we did leave them again on that field just because it recovered pretty good So that's why they're here again but over there, there's pretty much nothing, so they actually don't even go that way. So it's not like they're gonna miss anything. And they really want the hay. So they're gonna be happy. Okay, I think we just peel it like that, yeah. Stop layer is not the best. We're just gonna give it to them just so they can pick it through and use it as their bedding.
that work? I mean, yeah, it worked. It needs a bigger, flat, flatter flat frame so it blocks them. Put this on the floor, right? Yeah, Let's put that in the feeders. This one is a good one. Okay. The bottom one, the first one we got. Oh, geez, that needs to be closed up. We do need to secure their feeders though. Yeah, it's jiggling in the back. Marroli. So what we got there, we didn't even fill it up to the full and this is now for like two or three days maybe for them, maybe one day, depends how fast they eat it. They don't have the most grass left, so it's really important to bring them here. Girls have a lot of grass left, boys need a lot of hay. So we bring them a large amount, this is enough for them. They're gonna pick through it and uh, yeah, then we're gonna bring them again. But uh, that works really well because we're bringing as much as we would bring maybe to five wheelbarrows. Because the wheelbarrow you can't put a lot, wind blows it over, you can't stack it. This one we just compact, compact, compact and it's really efficient. But yeah, let's go close up the roll. Boys, where are you going? Go inside. And that's how you break your horns. Go eat. Go eat inside. Go, 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 go. That's it, we have brought the hay to the animals, we have tried out a new technique. For some people it might be looking really silly and why are we wasting our time or doing it so inefficient. But for us it's fun because we're never going to do those things again. We're going to get our tractor, we're going to be bringing hay rolls in and undoing them there. So these kind of things are like, it's like a step up build, we did it last year as well. But we're trying something new this year, we have new machines, new things to try out. The other thing we're going to do is the tricycle. Once the tricycle works we're going to build it also like a cage so it's much bigger and it could probably bring the whole hay roll split into pieces like in three three or four parts depends how much we can stack in and how much it can handle the weight and not to spin the wheels in the one place and do nothing so we're gonna bring it all in the barn so we have it under roof and no need to cover it and also because we're covering it so tightly it must be, might be better just to bring it in large quantities and give it slowly because this hay roll is enough for two weeks for all the animals uh, maybe not so much, but actually no, it should be two or three weeks. That's how it was last year and we had roughly the same amount of animal, animals, a bit more now, but not pregnant, so they eat less. Uh, but yes, uh, this is going to be how we're doing it until the tractor is repaired and then we're just going to be bringing a roll after a roll in. And then life is pretty simple, but now it's kind of fun to do it with these little machines and kind of to mess around, but also we're feeding our animals, so doing properly. We have two more fields left for the animals, so they have not eaten those up. 
uh, we haven't given them because we're trying to repair the electric fence we need to update it and upgrade it so we're gonna do that and then they're gonna get two more new fields uh, slowly slowly one by one and that will be some green grass for them on top of the hay but yeah hope you enjoy and we're gonna see you in the next one bye bye and actually doing all that work made me very nice and warm so it's a plus